Hi everyone, uh, this morning we're going to be having a look at the Sapuntia, which has developed quite a few problems in the past few months. It developed some white patches on a couple of the pads, uh, which got quite bad to the extent where a few of the pads fell off. Uh, I wasn't sure what was causing it, so first thing I thought was to stop watering it, so it's not had any water for two months. Uh, I was just wondering if it was just too damp in this corner for it. It's been in here since November, so it's it's a new place for it really. I grew it from seed. As far as I can work out, it's an Apuntia of Reapens. But, uh, but never mind that at the moment. But the first thing we're going to do today, we're going to actually going to get it out. Uh, it fell over yesterday, which is when I noticed the problem was quite bad on the back of it, so you can't see here. Uh, so first thing we're going to do is get these two pads off to make it lighter when we take it out. Now the spines on this are really nasty, so <coughs> full protection, leather gloves and some tools to hold the thing. And I'm going to try and twist the pads off with very large tweezers, which might be easier said than done. Mm -hmm. It's coming off. Well, these two pads haven't got any sign of infection at the moment, so I'm going to put them to one side, root them up, and see if it spreads from here. It might just be environmental. It might not be a disease or a fungus at all. Now I shall leave those for... Uh, a month or two to callous over before trying to root them. I know this looks a bit brutal, <coughs> but it's no worse than the, something like a guanaco having a munch of it in the wild. I'm sure it'll recover from that if that's the only thing wrong with it. And both of those off. Uh, the last pad is too fresh to try and root, and it's not that heavy, so I'm going to leave that where it is. And yeah, it doesn't need the support now, taking the extra weight of those pads off. And here we go, we've cleared the gravel away from it. since I planted it in November. Let's see if we can get it out. <coughs> I've got a, a scaffold plank to put it straight onto here. That's not the easiest thing to get hold of. These spines have got barbs on them. And can go through the leather gloves I'm wearing. Yeah, quite a bit of root on it. Ow! That bit hurt. And just bring the gloves around. The gloves are actually covered in spines. And some of them are a bit painful. Bring the camera around, and you can see it fits quite nicely on that scaffold board. So now we're going to move it well away from the other plants and have a better look at it. Okay, so I've turned it over to have a better look at it now. And at first, when I saw it yesterday, I thought that don't look good but now having a closer look at it most of it just looks like normal corking which is um, oh, it's the natural aging of the plant it's basically like bark forming on a tree uh, it's only the top pad that's got the, the sunken bit in there where there's definitely something going on inside which is not looking too good so I think the best thing to do is get that pad off and 
dispose of it all together and then pop the thing up into um, something separate and just keep it away from the rest of the cacti and monitor it for a bit um, by a bit I mean a year or so just to make sure it's not going to get any worse or spread to anything else uh, as soon as I've done that I should give it a good clear up in here and obviously monitor all the other cactus for any other signs of it spreading just in case it's a fungus which uh, I'm just not sure about yet okay